hello, welcome everyone. Welcome to Play Em at Home, where you'll be crafting with us from Play Em. Yes. So we hope you have your boxes with you today. Those are our material of the week. Mm -hmm. I have a cereal box. What about you, Ching Ming? I have, oh, we have the same box, the biscuit one. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we have, yeah, mine is sesame, that's why it's a different colour. Um, I also have a tissue box that I can use as well. And uh, this is a delivery box that I have. So we have all three different boxes. Okay, I'm going to clear. I love brown boxes. Yeah, you can do a lot of things. And you can also reuse them and, you know, to mail out things to people again. Yeah. That's right. Okay. So, uh, before we begin, we'd just like to remind that uh, this Play at Home session, there is no instructions and you are free to use the materials that you have at hand. Um, you can use a paper, you can use um, uh, sticks like this. It's really a whatever that you can find at home and there is no right or wrong way to craft. So um, whatever that we are crafting today, you can follow us or you can try your own way of crafting. Yeah. Okay. So, Kafisa, shall we shall we begin? Yes, we shall. Um. Hmm. But before that, can we maybe warm up a bit? Yes. Okay. So my hands are a bit cold. So I'm just gonna be warming them up, wiggling them around. You can stand up. You can shake your hands. You can pull your fingers, and, 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 but not, but not too not hard. Not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit, just to wake them up, wake them up. Yes, I think I am ready to craft. Are you ready to craft, Ming? Yes. Sorry, I just uh shifted my <laughs> camera. So yes, now I'm back. I'm gonna stretch first. Okay. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Did it crack? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Let's start. Okay. okay. Yes. <laughs> and I wonder what we are gonna do with these boxes. So maybe we can try see. Um, I I already flattened my boxes. Mm. Um, yeah. So that's an easy way for me to store them. So I I usually flat my flatten my boxes first. Then now, hmm. what can we do? We can, oh, we can become like an accordion. We can move around. Ooh. Yes, I um, think if I open this biscuit one, I can also do the same thing. It's a bit. We can give it a knock. Anyone home? <laughs> oh, it could, it could be a building. It could be a, a really, really tall building with many, many windows. Hmm. Um, or... I, let me test this one. So actually this one, I accidentally sat on it earlier. <laughs> so it's a little bit damaged. But we'll see what we can do with it as well. <laughs> I want to see if it sounds the same from... Hmm. Hmm. Um, actually, looking at it from, from the top view, it reminds me of a, of a bookshelf, right? Ooh. That can store books. Or maybe it can be a library, a, a mini library. I where see. I can... I can have um, the entrance here with the books, a, a, a place for people to sit here. Hmm, mm. Maybe I can is, cut it up. Instead of a library, Hafiza, I can mm -hmm. actually see a binoculars. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, if you're I, right. If I were to open up the other end, you can actually see through. It can be a binoculars or maybe like, you know, what they have in like those superhero movies where they have those visors. Yes. And yeah, X-ray can... vision glasses. Yes. And shoot out lasers maybe. <laughs> that is an idea. Or maybe you can shoot out water because it's very hot now and maybe it'll cool us down a little bit. Hi, I would love hello. that. Okay. So, Hafiza. Yes. What can we do? What hmm. ideas do you have? I think I would like to combine the idea. Oh, someone said you can make a bike by drawing a bike and cutting it out. You're right. You can use it as uh, the cardboard material itself. So we can cut it up over here or uh, at the center of it. You're right. Hi, hello. hello. Yes. So Hi, for those who are joining, just joining us, today we are exploring how what we can do with cardboard boxes. So we have various kinds of cardboard boxes. Like Hafiza has a cereal box. I have a delivery box that I had, and I have a tissue box, and a biscuit box. <laughs> so join us, take your, get your materials, and come and join us and see what we all can create together. 
Okay, hmm. so Hafiza, shall we? What yes, I think I'll begin you? first by uh, taping my box secure because I did flatten it out first when I was hmm. storing it. So I'm just going to make it back into a box. Uh, so, so we we just explored the idea of maybe it could be a visor. It, we can mm -hmm. use it as uh, a cardboard material. Or we can even make a building out of it, right? Yes, um, we can. A building, a very, very tall building with many different windows. Um, or it can be a library, a museum, or even a tank. <gasps> Fish tank. Yes, mm -hmm. like... Maybe, what if it can be everything? Like, uh, we can make it such that we can change it out into a tank or yeah. a library. Oh, what about like a, like a theatre set, right? Where we can change yes. the scenes? Then we can change the background and the, the the people or the characters that are in in the scene, right? Yes. Ooh, okay. Shall we try that? Okay. So Okay, I'm gonna use my pen knife. Uh you can use your scissors. Uh be careful if you're using a pen knife. So I'm just gonna be making a cutout for the screen here. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Well Hafisa does that. Um since mine is already has a hole, I'm just gonna keep with it. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut out the plastic. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, we would love to know what you're making. Yeah, what is everyone making today? Let us know, or if you have any ideas on what else we can create with cardboard boxes, share them with us. We would love to hear your ideas. Okay, I'm so struggling to cut this. <laughs> I've seen someone um, at the center at Play um, making a bag from a box. So what she <gasps> did bag. was, um, this is the, the bag and she can open it up. And she actually made her own straps using uh, plastics or, that... or fabric that she found at the center. Oh, yeah. that and is then, so creative. Yeah, she even made like a, a, a bag with a bag. So meaning like that there was a pouch in the front. And like she, she made a lot of things with the box. I think that's very useful at this point, like when you go shopping and you have like a bag <laughs> in a bag, so then like you can put in more things in, in a sense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna like try and peel off the mine the plastic bits. Ah. Oh, it's really tough. Okay. I don't want to tear this. I've already sat on this box, so I don't really want to tear the box again. <laughs> <laughs> you can reinforce the box. If you yeah. like, I think I will take the corners because so basically I sat and it squashed this corner. So uh, let me find. It something. gave it some character, yes. some cracks. <laughs> I don't want to, my theatre to come crashing down though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the idea. <laughs> it's a it's a movable, um, flexible theatre. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So Hafiza, mm. how are we going to make the background? How do we even put a background inside here? We can use the, the cutout that we made to go inside. So we can switch it out anytime you want. Or, but before that, I was thinking maybe I, um, I, I want to try a way where I can control my, my characters or um, the, the different um, people that are going to be acting in my theatre. So maybe I want to cut um, a few slits at the top. Okay. So that's where my characters can come. Hmm. So they can come either from the top or the bottom, right? Yes. Because it depends on which way you put your, your theatre box to be. Okay. I'm going to finish taping the sides and then I will start um, cutting the slits as well. So for those who are watching, uh, who are just joining us, hi, welcome to Play I'm at Home. And today we're exploring what, we're, what we can do with cardboard boxes. So uh, you may choose to craft your own ideas or what we are doing now is we are actually creating like a theatre set that we can change out, you know. So to different scenes and having different characters in it as well. So if you want, you can craft along with us or you can also craft your own ideas as well. How's it going, Chiming? 
yes, just the last corner to reinforce and I can start cutting. <laughs> yeah, I'm just about done. Ta-da! There you go. And I can even use the, the pieces from here. Oh, someone just said you could cut a rectangle at the top and use the sticks to control your characters. Ah, that's a great idea. So it will look something like this. So I can stick someone inside. Hi, everyone. Oh, so I can decorate um, the outside of my theatre. Maybe I can make like a curtain, just like a, a real theatre. Or what about you, Chingling? What do you want to decorate yours with? Oh, just now when you said uh, like a fish tank. Mm -hmm. I think I want to make a fish tank. So I'm going to have, maybe I'll put some, you know what you find on the seabed? Kind of like shells. Yes. And maybe a crab <laughs> could be on the seabed <laughs> and some, some seaweed and algae. Then we can decorate it outside. And then inside, maybe I can have all the sea creatures swimming around. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I cut a hole at the top. So I can actually slot in like, a piece of paper and I can change the my background that's inside. That's cool. Yeah. So since I'm doing like um under like kind of like an underwater under the sea theme, mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use I have some blue paper. I'm just going to like cut it into shape and like just to make sure that the length is correct. <laughs> Hello well, for me, I am going to um, use my brown paper bag. Uh, I, I want it to be quite um, general so that I can switch out uh, with the seams inside but keep the outside um, like a blank slate so it mm. will look like um, a TV. Ooh. <laughs> can I quickly so switch I can the channels? The channel. <laughs> yep. yep. It's like, hmm, maybe not this one now. So I'm just going to use what blue. we want to watch. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to cut this piece of paper as my background. Okay. What is everyone else making today? Are you all making a theatre set as well? A theatre box? Or, or if you are th making a theatre box, tell us what your scene is. Is it... Is it a fish tank, the ocean. Or is it? I haven't more? decided what I want to make for mine, so mm. maybe someone can give me an idea. Yeah. Hello. Anyone has any ideas? Let's see if I can slot this paper in. I hope we can. <laughs> oh, it's very tight. Okay, I think I need to trim it more because I didn't cut it all the way. I'm gonna try and trim it. Yeah. Thing as well, the paper is quite soft, so it's a maze. Someone's making a maze with the box. Oh, that's really cool. Like, Ooh, I wonder okay. what you are using other than the box, or are you just using? one material which is the box itself and using all the cardboard pieces to make the different uh, configurations. Mm. I would love to see how your maze looks like. Who is going through the maze? Is it you? Or <laughs> I want to know as well what kind of maze and who, who, who will be able to go through the maze? Okay. Um, so I have put my blue paper in. Oh, you can't really see because the light that I have but Mm -hmm. It's a blue piece of paper, and that's going to be my background. And um, I will just cut little slits so I can put in my characters in. If not, they can't go in. <laughs> and I think what I will do is I will put some just like a hole. Because maybe like some, I don't want my characters to move around. I just want them to kind of like stay. Stay put? Yeah, kind of just stay put. So then maybe I can cut a hole. Let me see how it goes. I can cut a few slits. Oh, someone's it's... using a small metal ball for the maze. Metal That's a good ball? idea. Wow. Yeah. Or maybe you can use a, a marble. So it can be like a marble maze. Wow. Oh, yeah. Someone's making a mini house. 
what kind of house is a mini house? What's the decoration like? <laughs> I would love to know. Okay, I'm going to cut like various small little slits like that. So then we can put in our characters later. Okay. Just be careful if you are doing this. Ask someone for help. If you are not able to... Um, if you're not familiar with how to use a pen knife, please be careful with yourself, okay? Because it can be quite sharp. Ching Ming, okay. I have something to share. Oh, yes. My glue is about done. <laughs> <laughs> I've been crafting so much. So maybe I'll just switch over to using my tape. It's okay. <laughs> I think tape is faster as well. Yep. <laughs> Can you hear my crickets outside? They're very, very loud today. <laughs> we, um, earlier, there was a bird outside Hafiza's house. So I, maybe Hafiza just lives by the zoo. Who knows? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I wish. The amount of animal sounds that I've heard while talking to Hafiza today. I think she secretly lives like near the, you know, near the zoo and just has never told us before. <laughs> It's a secret. Yes. We can we will never know. <laughs> okay, so I've cut a few slits so I can swap in my characters. So maybe while Hafiza is still working on her kind of like the frame of her theatre box. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna start with already decorating the outside. So maybe I'll have I wanna have some algae that I can find on the ocean floor. So what do you guys think like our game looks like? It's like quite soft. Slimy. Ooh, slimy. And it's very like wavy in a way. Kind of wavy. I think because also it's in the water and the, the current Whoosh. makes it wavy. Whoosh. Yes. Whoosh. So, if anyone has seen our plastic bag episode, you would know that I have it's all these green all these bags. green classic back strips so yeah okay i just got a question on what are we making so today we are actually exploring with um sorry i think maybe some of you guys have just joined in i just wanted to say hello to everyone and um so today we're exploring what we can make with cardboard boxes so like hafiza is shoot oh that was a used to be a zero box so she's cut it up <laughs> <laughs> and for me i'm working with a tissue box at the moment uh, you can choose any other cardboard boxes or materials that you have and uh, see what you can create from there so what we are making now is we are making like a theater set thing and we can actually change the scene change the background and uh, Hafiza is decorating the outside kind of making it like a frame or a tv whereas i am going to directly put my elements. I'm going to do like an underwater scene. Okay. Yours really looks halfway there. Because the box <laughs> is already there. Yeah. Maybe I might have cheated a bit because of the <laughs> Okay. I no, it inspired you. You yeah. didn't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it did remind me, especially like after you said um after you said uh a, a tank, a fish tank. Then I looked at because it had the plastic thing, it definitely looked mm -hmm. like a fish tank there. <laughs> okay. So if I were to yeah I, oh Sorry, I realized that people couldn't see. Okay. Yeah, if I'm just gonna layer this on, get okay. As for me, I'm actually done with my frame. Oops. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna start with my background that I am able to switch out anytime I want. Mm, okay, what what scene should I make? Mm, what about a scene in space? What? Space. Ooh. Should I do that? Yeah, I think space will be very fun. So we have one like that's right up in the sky, and then we have one that's like under the sea, <laughs> like complete opposites. Two walls collide. Yes, yes. I think that sounds very exciting. I think I'm gonna look through my um, material scrap paper. Mm. Mm. Can you guess what this is for me? Oh. Is it like foil? Yes, it it's shiny? actually from my 
ramen noodle. <laughs> my instant noodle. <laughs> I have a question. Have you washed it? Yes, I have. I have okay, washed yeah. and dried it. So I, I, I think I was uh, making it one day. Then I saw like, hey, it's so shiny. It's so pretty. I, I should use it for something one day. And here it is. So for everyone who is also thinking of using that, remember that you need to wash your all these things before <laughs> you use them. You don't want ends on your on your theatre set, you know? That's they, probably they not could the be best. Your, they could be your audience, but yeah, they could, not yeah. the most friendly <laughs> audience. Yes. <laughs> they might bring more onto the theatre seat. Yeah. Without paying for the seat. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I think we want uninvited paying. guests. <laughs> yeah, uninvited guests. <laughs> okay, I'm just sticking this down. Oops. Okay. I'm using it like the end of a Q tip. We call it Q-tips, earbuds, cotton earbuds, so that it's easier for me to spread the glue. If not, it gets like, I think Yuhu glue is one of those glues, like once you press and then like there's a lot of it that comes out. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> and it's very unexpected, you're just like, oh no, what Whoosh. do I do? <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Just realised that it's easier to just like stick it. To stick it from... <laughs> Put the glue here rather than put the glue on the thing itself. Okay. I think see. everyone's very busy crafting. Yes. Remember that you can also show us um, your creation. You can tag us at player at home. Um, at player and then tag us hashtag player at home. Or you can also send us a message. You can go to our player um, our profile after this and you can send us a message and attach a photo to it and we can go share your creations okay so i have like some seaweed corners and maybe i can oh seashells how should i make seashells does anyone have any idea anyone have someone any just idea? said yams <laughs> Okay, I like to think that seashells are a bit I like the round ones with the kind of like the stripy thing, right? Hmm. There's lots of different seashells actually. Ooh, so you can I have, have an idea. Different sorts. So I have a sponge. You can mm-hmm. see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper. Let me get my I'll choose another colour. Hmm. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll put the paper on top. Let's see if it works okay. I'm going to a bit of navigating. <laughs> oh yes, it works. I'm just What's gonna that? do some I'm just gonna do some texture rubbing so then it has the the texture of the uh, the lines that's created. Mm-hmm. And then I can cut it up to the shell shape. Oh maybe I take a darker pencil. <laughs> oh I never thought of that. Yeah. So then you can have the lines. And what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna like I'm gonna like wrap it onto something round. So then you get a 3D effect. Okay. Ooh, this paper is a bit like I don't even think this paper I think this is like You know the back <laughs> When you finish your stickers So yeah It's a bit waxy So you can't I like that you're repurposing it Yeah It was just found in the stash of papers I think it got mixed up <laughs> Okay So I'm gonna make Like my shell this way Okay I don't know if you guys can see the lines I'm gonna Let me finish Colouring this And then I will Hafiza, what are you up to now? I'm now making different textures on my paper so that it will be my background later on. Wow. So I'm just going to be sticking different sorts of textures onto it just to give it um, a different um, plane instead of it just being one dimension. 
Ooh, okay. Since we are going in outer space. Yes, we're going to outer space. Okay, for me, I want to make this a bit 3D. If I stick it on, it's not very exciting, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of roll this into a ball. Just paper. Roll it up into a ball. And then I'm going to wrap it. So then it, it looks like it's going to be a 3D. This paper is a bit hard to wrap. <laughs> okay. So I can do this. And then it looks like a seashell. Because it has the lines of it. So what I'm going to do is... I can... Oh, I thought this was capped and I did this. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's put some glue over this. I'm gonna try this, okay? Hopefully it works. <laughs> oh. Okay. And press it down so that it sticks. And then I'm gonna trim. I'm just gonna trim the edges. Okay, I'm gonna trim it first, like a big one. Then I can trim it smaller after this. Just finish cutting it. Okay, so the seashells that I've seen, they're a little bit like, like a fan shape. Okay. And then I'm gonna round them off at the corner. Okay, something like this. There you have it, like a 3D seashell that's going on the floor of the... Ta-da! That's my 3D seashell. <laughs> it's popped up. I think I want to start making my characters, okay? So, instead of just using paper, I thought maybe if I use them. Maybe I did it on cardboard. Let's see how it looks like. Maybe it has a more pop-up feel. And it's different. thicker so that it's yes. able to be used many many times. Yeah. So I have, I'm gonna use this thinking, oh yeah, the inside is plain so I can just use it. Hmm. Can someone tell me what should I make from the sea, from the ocean? What's under the sea? Any ideas? Anybody have any ideas? Well, I cut my box open so that I can use it as a flat surface. Maybe you can make a sea creature. What kind of sea creatures? What kind of sea mm. creatures does everybody like? Maybe I can do something. Or you can make your own sea creature. A sea creature that no one has ever discovered. <gasps> Never discovered. Hmm. What if we make a fish with wings? A flying fish. <laughs> yes. But there is such thing as a flying fish. But exactly. I want to make it a fish with wings. What if it can't fly, even though it has wings? <gasps> it's just flapping the water and like pushing it. <laughs> That's how it swims, maybe. Okay, so um, I want to do it a little bit like 3D. So maybe I'll just draw the shape of the fish. Let's see. I'm gonna use a pen. So usually it push oh I need to make sure that it's not too big so that it, you know it doesn't get blocked. Okay, maybe. Nope, oh, that's not big. Okay. I draw my fishes a certain way because that's how I <laughs> drawn them all my life. So, okay, I'll do this shape first, and I uh, think I want a really, like, funny mouth. Okay. What does a funny mouth look like? Okay, I'll draw it like that first, and then after that, we see if we can add anything to, to change up this funny mouth, okay? <laughs> I feel like it's very small. Okay, I think I made a bigger one. <laughs> Let's do a much bigger one. Okay, this is gonna be the tail. So, okay. 
Okay, let me cut that out and then we'll see what we can, we can do with this little fish. Hafiza, what's your progress over there? Ta-da! Is that the moon? And the star! Wow! And just one star. Just one star? Yes. Because I think I want to make a story about a star that's oh, stuck that's on star. Earth. Star that's stuck on Earth? Oh no! Is it going to be a sad or a happy um, story? Or have you not decided on that? Maybe it can start off as sad, but then, <laughs> <laughs> as every story does, but <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, what shall I use? I think I, I'll, I'll, I'll use a stick, like someone suggested just now. Mm -hmm. So we can have our characters there. Oh, I think I want to get off this here, My so you can fish. see it better. What are we making? We are making theatres from cardboard boxes. Yes, we're making I... a theatre set. Yeah, a theatre set. So I'm making an underwater scene. So I have the algae and the seashell here. And then Hafiza is, she has a space scene going on. And she's going to tell a story. Do, do, a do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, maybe I can have a little button here. So I can switch the channels. Doop, 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 doop. Mm. Okay, I'm going to make like something more colorful with the tail. So I'm going to have a big tail. What tail? Hmm. Maybe I should do a heart shaped tail. Okay, I'm going to cut a heart shape. I'm having have... so much fun with the shiny material. <laughs> it's like you can literally do anything with them. For those who don't have a shiny material, you can definitely use... Oh! Yeah, if the tail is a lot bigger than... <laughs> For those who don't have shiny material, you can, uh, you can use aluminum foil as well, I think. Yeah? Yes, yes. So equally definitely. Shiny. But yeah, you can definitely save all those food packaging that you have. You know, not just from your instant noodles, but also like from coffee packaging, I think. Um, I have some from tea. And mm. um, and biscuits like this. Oh yes. So usually, whenever I'm eating, I I'll, I'll look at the packaging, and I I really love packaging. <laughs> I I don't know if you know this, Chingling, but uh, I love how things are wrapped and presented, and sometimes I I feel a bit sad to throw them away. <laughs> so I'm giving them a second life. Yes. Okay, I have my heart shaped tail and my fish. And uh, I'm gonna make an eye that's popping up. Just an one for an eye. eye. Yes, an eye for eye. It's gonna be a pirate story. I'm going to just cut. I have this pattern paper that I'm just gonna use like various bits of it <laughs> so that I don't waste it. You know? Yeah. And there's like many colors for this. Um, for this pattern paper that I can just cut whenever, whatever I need. Okay. <laughs> I think my fish looks great. I love it. <laughs> it has this like little, <laughs> small little body and big eyes. And <laughs> I'm a big body. Big eyes. Okay. I'm going to draw a How's everyone doing? Ooh. I think my fish is a bit small. Let me put up. Yes, that's my fish now. <laughs> so now I'm going to draw the wings. I'm draw the wings. What should I use for the wing? Hmm. Ooh, I know what I have. I would need that. Has anyone seen this before? What's that? Ooh, yes. You've showed it a few times. Um, those are like pipe cleaners, right? Yeah, I don't even know if they are pipe cleaners because there's like the pom pom bits to it. Mm. Yeah, but um, all I know Fancy is I pipe think pipe cleaners. <laughs> I know sometimes during Chinese New Year, like my mom would use this to wrap the the plants. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, that's how I remember it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna use these as the wings. 
I'm gonna cut. Yeah. Oh. oh yes. Okay, managed to cut too. <laughs> Qingming, can yes. I show you my finished yes. theater? Well, it 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 can be uh changed up and it can be definitely like we can change the scenery anytime you want. Mm -hmm. uh, I can even oh. make it bigger so it fits much nicer. But uh, this is my character. It's um. Mr. Oh. And it's Mr. or Miss Star. And, uh, it's a shooting star. Ooh. Is it landing on the moon? Now it looks like it's landing on the moon. It's sitting on the moon. It's sitting on the moon. <laughs> yesterday, what? can I show, just show you something that I made yesterday? Yes. So I tried it yesterday as well. Um, this is me in, oh. in space. <laughs> And I, I, I also used a, a box for this. Wow. So what I did was that I, I, I cut the top bit of the um, box. I painted it black and I made like a little window so it opens up. That's so useful and you can also like keep all your things after that in it. Yes. And what I did was that such that once I close up the box, right, I can open up the window. So it will open up to my scene. Wow. Da -da. Yeah. And it also and helps press down the scene, right? Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. And then there's my there's me in space. Hello. <laughs> and then there is a spaceship. <laughs> oh. What about the star? The star would like to join too. <laughs> yes. Miss Mr. or Miss Star. Hello everyone! That's really cool. Okay, so as you guys can tell, Hafiza used like an uh, ice cream stick. Right? Hafiza used yes, an ice cream stick, yes, right? Yes, I also used um, a piece of cardboard for Ooh, this one. Oh, okay. I'm going to and use like Yakult straw. Yeah. Okay. It's really, me, really cool. Let me stick it on. Yeah, I use tape. Might be easier to stick it on. Okay, I have some tape here. Let's see. Qingming, do you know that we only have 10 minutes left for our session today? <gasps> that was really fast. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. I was just looking at the time and like, whoa, what? I, I, I want to keep making. I want to see more space-related <laughs> stuff from Hafiza, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I really love this theme and you can really make a lot from it. You can use cardboard, you can use um, your ice cream sticks. And yeah. <laughs> oh, I realized that I should have cut a bigger hole, so now it doesn't. <laughs> okay, I can try and like put it from below. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I have my own. Hello. Hello, hello, Miss Fish. And you can oh, turn Mr. it Fish. around. Oh, my light is giving a shadow. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> This might well, be the fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me try and take it out. Yes, so I can. I use a straw, and um, yeah, it still it still gives it enough space for it to move around. Yeah, maybe we'll cut like longer holes so that like you can you can uh travel. You can travel further. <laughs> mm. I've seen someone use uh, strings as well instead of straws or cardboard Ooh, or yes. ice sticks. Mm, I have a string here. Let me, maybe let me try. While Chiming tries that, maybe uh, I would just like to say, if you like what we do here, um, this session especially, um, and you would like to support our work, uh, parents, please do consider donating to our Giving.sg. Um, it will really support us in uh, our mission and the programs that we do for children and also for children from marginalized backgrounds. So you can definitely check out our giving.sg at our bio. Yeah, you can also read up about uh, if you're interested in what else we do. Uh, you can definitely read up on on, on all on our website, and it's you can go to the link in our bio and you can access all the information over there. Okay, so I have a real fish. I think what I can do is I can just slot it in. Uh, yeah. Let me just tie it first. <laughs> okay, let's see. 
I think I'll have to stick it down. If not, it's gonna the knot will go through the the hole that we made. Okay. How are you, oh. Chinlin? Yeah, I think it's very difficult to show because like if I do this, then the fish kind of flops to the back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll take a picture of this. Oh, is the astronaut talking? Yes, I think. Yes. It is I. <laughs> Astronaut. <laughs> it, it is I, Mr. Fishy, who's kind of stuck in a... Uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit difficult to show because if I do it sideways, he just kind of flops to the back. But if I do it... <laughs> I can't show it to you. But if I do it like that, he kind of stays there. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Yes. Okay, so we have got to go soon. And um, are these are any last piece of advice for everybody. <laughs> Any other information that we like to tell everyone? Oh, yes. Um, please do tag us. Show us your creations. Tag us at Play at Home. Or if you want to show, um, if you want to send us your creations, you can also take a photo and go to um, Playum's Instagram. It's just at Playum. And you can send us a message and attach the photo with the message as well. Okay? And yeah, looking forward to see everyone's creation and how you explore and play with cardboard boxes and what you're built and make from there. If you're making the same theatre boxes as we did, we would love to see what kind of different scenes that you guys have made. Okay? Yep. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Mr. Astronaut will appear on our Instagram to say hi to everyone. <laughs> oh, don't forget to clean up. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to clean up. We're going to clean up today. Okay. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye-bye.